Let's move on to Maximo Torero and, and uh, the work that you are now doing with IFPRI as well as your work in, um, in Latin America. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so let me try to, to stick a little bit to what Prabhu presented. And I will give a name to my accelerator. It's called MDSI Plus Ways. So it has uh, institutional innovation and it has a technological breakthrough, but the technological breakthrough is just a complement to it. The core of the accelerator is based on, on knowledge and institutional innovation that happened in Peru. And this is not something that I did, it's something that my country did, and I am very proud of it. So Peru uh, simulated, uh, developed this system which is called multisectoral demand and supply and incentive based approach, which basically stimulated the demand for health and nutrition services among the poor, increased the coverage and quality of services, and improved nutrition related budgetary planning and results monitoring. That's the part that we call WAYS, which is a real-time monitoring innovation that Peru did, which included, of course, also impact evaluation, but it's real-time, and that's, that's the innovation. What was the result of this uh, accelerator? It was that the Peru more than half the malnutrition among children under five, from 28% in 2008 to 13.1% in 2016. So let me explain a little bit this accelerator and how it was motivated. So the key facts, first, was that economic growth alone was not sufficient to reduce malnutrition and hunger. That was very clear. There is evidence in Lancet from Marie Ruel and, and uh, Hara Adelman showing this. And Peru, first of all, documented all this evidence using a tool. They were able to document everything. But that's, that was crucial. The second element it was that they documented also the evidence that malnutrition can cause permanent damage to brain of the kids and, of course, will affect the future generations, affecting around 40% of the knowledge capability of, of kids. So again, there were solid key facts of evidence that Peru used to do that. What was the approach of the accelerator? First, recognizing malnutrition as a complex, multidimensional problem that requires multisectoral uh, coordination. Peru used to have a conditional cash transfer, what's called Juntos, together, and they changed that and called together swap, so juntos swap. And basically recognized the complexity of malnutrition and it was not just a conditionality that we have to put to it, but we had to assure that it has to cover the key factors like water and sanitation, the food issue, and other elements of health that were extremely important for resolving this problem. Mm -hmm. And that required an improvement on the supply side. The second element of this approach was evidence-based. So it was evidence-based on best practices we learn of experiences in other countries and trying to figure out how we can be as effective as possible in this multisectoral approach. We also bring evidence on cost of economic malnutrition. That was crucial to create the linkage, and that's a huge innovation with the Ministry of Finance. The Peru was able to convince the finance minister that this was a crucial problem for him. Not only the current budget, because he had to keep giving money for the transfers mm -hmm. and for all the health issues, but also in the future. And that completely changed the institutional design because everything was driven through the Ministry of Finance, which was at the end the one who signs the checks. So that, that evidence was essential. And, and the third element was demand and supply. It was not only an issue of increasing the demand of the juntos to kids under 12 months, and especially in the, in, the, in the age cohort, which was crucial, but also to have the supply, not only the conditionality, but that the supply existed. How I can put a conditionality if the supply was not there? And the final element, which was linked to finance, was cost effectiveness. That means that we have to link this to budget by results. So they clearly put a, a law in place that if you comply with the clear outcomes and impacts that we expected in terms of reduction of measurement indicators that we had data to measure, then you will get more budget support to it. So the budget was functional to the performance indicators that they have to comply. What were the results uh, of these uh, four elements of the accelerator? So let me repeat them. Recognition of the multi-complexity of, of, of malnutrition, Evidence-based, evidence on best practices, and evidence on economic costs, demand and supply approach, and the cost effectiveness. The results were, first, stimulated the demand for health and nutrition services by extending Juntos affiliation to children younger than 12 months, stimulated improvement in the coverage and quality of the health and nutrition effects, and support the improvement in government's budgetary planning and monitoring of results regarding the nutrition services. And here is where innovation of ways came in place. What is ways? I don't know if you know ways when you drive. It's exactly the same idea. So Peru had real-time monitoring in all the locations where they were delivering the services. If something failed, automatically were reported, and a distribution was put over the space so that they knew where the problem was and they could immediately go and target. Uh, that was the, the technological breakthrough of the innovation. The impact, as I mentioned before, 
we were finally able to reduce undernutrition from 30.1% to 13.1% from 28% in a period of uh, eight years, which was very different to the status quo that we had in a bigger period where basically it even increased in the case of Peru. Thank you very much.